Tess Holiday, everybody's favorite fat acceptance influencer. But guys, I, I will be honest, Tessie over here isn't everybody's cup of tea. Cup of tea with 20 teaspoons of sh She came out about a year ago claiming that she has anorexia. Yes, this gal right here has uh, anorexia. Okay, which one of the symptoms being when I click on anorexia on Google is thin appearance. <laughs> Guys, something, something's not quite adding up here. Well, yes, she came up saying that she has anorexia last year, and obviously a lot of people didn't believe that. And well, Tessie is quite upset by that. I, I can't believe someone would question someone like Tess Holiday or whether or whether or not she has anorexia. You absolute animals. Well, don't worry, it's her, it's her redemption. She's come onto this program to talk about how that's made her feel. And today we're gonna watch that because, oh yes, you go queen. Please welcome Tess Holiday to the show. <laughs> uh, I can't see her. Where, where is she? I just wanna thank you because I know that this is still ongoing for you since sharing your diagnosis with your fans, with the public, you have experienced a setback. What happened after you shared the news? <clears throat> well, I wasn't quite expecting it to blow up in the way that it did. I wasn't expecting everyone to talk about it around the world for weeks and months even. Uh, it basically caused me to, uh, stop taking care of myself in the way that I had been. <laughs> Uh, uh, excuse me, Tess? Look, guys, honestly, I know people are gonna be mad about this video, but let me just quickly break that down for a second. Basically, Tess Holiday is actually blaming you guys. Come on. She basically just said that, oh yeah, well, before, before I was taking good care of myself, like I was healthy, I was in great shape, but I, I, oh my, after, well, yeah, that's when it happened. That's when I stopped taking care, and it's because of you guys. Yeah, honestly, I would have been completely fine if it wasn't for you guys. That's when I stopped taking care of myself. Not before. Like, okay, yeah, sure. Because looking like this before is definitely a picture of someone that takes very good care of themselves. Now, listen, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, and whatever, I don't really care. I know we live in a weird cuckoo fairy land at this point where we can say people like this are healthy. Hell, we, we even live in a world where we can actually say with a straight face. Someone like this has anorexia. Oh yeah, guys, okay. I'd also like to say in the same sentence, someone as white as me has experienced racism. I just, oh, every day. Every day, guys, it's just, it's so bad. I might be pasty white, but oh my god, I feel it on a day-to-day -day basis. The fact that she's choosing someone else's illness for attention is mind-blowing to me. And the fact that there are still people there generally defending her is even more wild. But then, I'm not surprised, people will defend people for absolutely anything. I saw a clip the other day, about Prince Andrew and someone phoned up this program and was like, you need to leave Andrew alone. We've all done silly things. But he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Yes, we've all done silly things. I think after watching that yesterday, it really has cemented that people will literally believe anything they see online. Just because someone with more than 5,000 followers on Instagram claims something, guys, I want to sit down for this one. Especially you, Tess Holiday. They don't want your blood sugar to rise. They can be faking. I know, I know, cr crazy, crazy, I know. These are the same people that won't even believe politicians at this point, or prime ministers or presidents, but yet you'll believe someone that you've never met on Instagram because they say that they're oppressed. Uh, okay, guys. To stop, I, I stopped feeding myself properly. I kind of got really depressed. I just really regressed into uh, behaviors that weren't healthy for me. And uh, yeah, actually it was after the comments people made online. That's when I really went downhill. That's when I stopped looking after myself. Before I was eating very well. But after, oh my God, as you can clearly see, I'm wasting away at this point. My health just declined. I stopped eating proper foods. Really guys, like what kind of world are we living in when you're actually gonna believe this? I think it's pretty sickening to be honest. You look at actual people, even influencers that have anorexia. How sad it is, how much in denial they are. They don't even wanna claim that they have anorexia. They say they're completely fine. Look at that person, Eugenia Cooney. I mean, there is someone that definitely has anorexia, who Shane Dawson has done a few series about. Unbelievably sad. Like, she completely denies it. People keep trying to help her, and actually, if you look on her YouTube channel now, it's sad to see. That's someone that I actually really feel for, 
as I feel like Tess Holiday has claimed to come out with something ridiculous like this. And then obviously you guys weren't going to agree with her. And now she's just trying to blame you. Like you guys are the issue. She somehow said something that I find pretty disgusting and then managed to cancel you guys because that is the world we live in nowadays. And that's why I really think, you know, encouraging these types of behaviors is just bad from the get go. You're going to get people like this that then claim these ridiculous things. And when you don't agree with them for once, they're going to blow up in your face because they've never heard the word no or someone even slightly disagreeing with them. So they don't know how to take it. So then they come on a talk show and then they just basically blame you guys. Well, uh, you know, actually it was after that, like no one like agreed with what I said. So it's all, it's all you guys fault. I, it's even hard to talk about now. I wish that I just would have waited a little bit longer because I wasn't fully prepared. And I also didn't realize when I talked about it that uh, we don't really discuss uh, folks that are experiencing my, my type of eating disorder in larger bodies because you look at fat bodies and you just all of a sudden say, well, you're healthy and all you do is sit around and eat, but... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Um, no, I don't, I don't think we do say that. You're healthy and you sit around all day and eat. I mean, one of those is true, but the first one definitely isn't. I know it really takes a special type of person on social media, but I know you guys are there. In fact, I'll be able to tell exactly how many people there were watching this video who are crazy enough to say this is a healthy body type and that Tess Holiday has nothing wrong with her and that Tess Holiday is going to make it to the ripe old age of 100 because she is a fit queen. Look at that. Tess Holiday is literally one burpee away from death, guys. That is not a fit physique or a physique that you would want to have. And yes, I will agree that there is a type of eating disorders, but anorexia is definitely not the one Tess Holiday should have picked there. For the world to say that all I'm doing is sitting around and eat when I'm starving was horrible because anybody, any size can starve. And we are just, we are just conditioned to not care about. Oh my God, bro. The audience, why are you doing this, man? Why are people literally just encouraging this behavior? You can see Tess Holiday like almost light up a little bit the second she gets a little bit of approval. Yeah, what I'm saying is, is true. I'm getting loads of claps right now. And I don't know what it is, but with all these fat acceptance videos, I always find that what they basically describe it's just hunger. Yes, everybody gets hungry. Some people are much more better to adapt and to control it. Also, I will say in the same breath, guys, I'm not a complete monster. I completely know and understand that is harder for some people. And that's fine. If she had said that, I wouldn't have an issue with that, that some people find it harder than others to cope with that. But then just to turn around and say, I have anorexia and blame you guys for the ways that she looks is just ridiculous. Really do be anyone else's fault except for their own, hey? Folks in larger bodies to just toss us away like we don't belong, like we don't matter. And it's exhausting. Take me back. Yeah, I really don't think it's like that at all. If anything, I feel like it's more the other way around now. Fat people do not get slandered on the internet nowadays, and that's fine. I don't think anyone should be bullied online. I'm not like one of these people here where I will say you can bully someone that you don't know just because they're overweight. Like, yeah, I don't agree with that. But these people that try to withhold this high standard of respect for people seem to then neglect skinny people. Like if you're skinny and someone tweets out saying, look how pretty this person is, if they're white and skinny, the comments will be like, why? She's just a default character. Ugh, look at that skinny bit. Like I don't understand how people can't see themselves being these massive hypocrites online now to the point where we can glorify fat people, but, but the second you even acknowledge the hard work that someone puts in for a good physique or body, it's, oh no, you can't do that. I know in certain countries now, they even ban billboards of fit looking people, which I think is a complete shame because for me, looking at that is motivation. But some people just look at that and say, oh, that's hard work. It makes me feel bad about myself. I don't, I don't want that. I feel like a really good example was when Adele lost a lot of weight, right? She used to be a much bigger girl. And again, I'm not saying that that's wrong because she didn't claim all these stupid things. She just kind of got on with her life. If Adele came out and said, oh, I'm guys, I'm suffering with anorexia. Yeah, it would have been stupid, but she never did that. But she lost the weight and I think she actually looks a hell of a lot better personally. And I think a lot of people would agree with that. In fact, I'm sure she finds life a hell of a lot easier now being that size and feels a hell of a lot healthier. That's not a hate comment, that's science. But oh my God, did the comments go off at her? They said, why would you want to lose that weight? And started ripping into her saying, oh my God, now you look skinny and disgusting. Ugh, look, you've lost all that 
wait, uh, Adele, you look, uh, you look horrible now. Uh, look at Adele, guys. So you're telling me that we can't make fun of fat people, but by the second they lose that weight, oh, it's just open field. Go for it. Well, during the pandemic, it caused me to slow down like it did most of us. And I started really examining how I was feeding my body or the lack thereof. And I met who I now work with, my dietitian, Anna Sweeney. I met her uh, through a conference that we did, a virtual conference. And I reached out to her and I said, I think I need help. And when I reached out to her, I thought that I was overeating. I thought that I was binge eating. I thought that it was everything but what she said. And uh, about five months into our sessions, um, she said, I can't diagnose you properly, but if I could, I would diagnose you as anorexia nervosa. Okay, well, that sounds a little bit of a shady sentence, doesn't it? I'm not allowed to diagnose you, but if I could, well, okay, well, there's clearly a reason why she can't because she's not a professional practice. Like this isn't rocket science to figure this one out, surely, right? There's people in the comments right now watching this video thinking the exact same thing. That sounds as shady as hell. Like if I went to a doctor and said, well, okay, a blaze, I can't fully diagnose you, but if I could, I would say you have diabetes. <laughs> uh, what? Bro, I think I'm looking at him a little bit confused. Also, people using the pandemic as a weird sort of free card to be oppressed. Look, everyone suffered over lockdown. Nobody had a good time. And yeah, of course, everyone put weight over lockdown. I said I put free stone on, but then I lost it after lockdown ended. I'll tell you what didn't happen though over lockdown for me or most people. I didn't lose someone that I loved. I didn't get hospitalized. I didn't lose everything. I didn't lose my job. I still had a roof over my head. These people making these types of videos when they go on to the talk shows and they try to act even oppressed in these shows is absolutely insane. Oh, well, I didn't have it very easy in lockdown. Yeah, no one had it easy. No one came out of lockdown and was like, I had a blast. Well, actually, maybe, maybe a few people. Maybe a few weird people probably did, but it's besides the point, like why even really bring it up that much and talk about it on a talk show host. Everybody had it hard. Just because you ate a little bit more over lockdown isn't then suddenly a sub story for you. How was it affecting your day to day, both professionally and personally? Because you're dealing with this. It's not a secret. They notice it, but it's not diagnosed. And the problem is there, but it's not. It's but not been named. It was extremely hard, but I had normalized it so much. I, I, you know, like you said earlier, when you have so many people saying things to you online, I'm tough as nails, but it gets to you and- Yes, some say I even have pretty thick skin. I'm sorry, but this just seems like one of those fake the ideas has suddenly grown up and has never been taught the word no. To be walking around claiming that you have a type of disorder without a diagnosis is a little bit of a weird thing. Surely that in itself should be pretty telling that you probably don't have it. It's so weird to me just to be watching this as someone is sitting on this live show talking about how oppressed she's been about this disorder, but she can't get diagnosed for it and doesn't have it. It just seems like a, a big wet slap in the face of people that do actually suffer with this. Again, it'd be like my pasty white face coming on here talking about how it's like racism. I'm sure some people would probably feel a little bit insulted by that. And to be quite honest, I don't really see much of a difference with this scenario either. I'm, I'm doing it. You are doing it, you're doing it. Thank you so Thank much, you. Tess. I appreciate you joining us. It means the world to me. And please come back anytime because my platform is your platform. As long as people are telling the truth, trying to uplift other people. Oh, oh, oh. as long as they're telling the truth, you say. Wow. <laughs> you might want to sit down for this one. Surely the people in the background get paid to clap, right? Oh man, we live in such a weird world. I already know as well the hate comments are gonna come flooding in. But Blaze, I have to disagree with you on this one. This holiday is going through anorexia. She's a skinny queen. How do you not see it? <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm I'm the idiot. Let me know what your thoughts and opinion are on this. It's been a very interesting topic that I've had in the back burner for a while now. And I'm actually very intrigued to hear what you guys have to say about this. But anyway, boys and girls, hope you're having a great day. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.